Hi guys, Leslie, Martin's mum, is back again helping us out with our maths and she's going to be talking you guys through the quadratic sequences part of the specification. Don't forget that if you are struggling with this topic to check out my previous video which is to do with linear sequences because this is a step more difficult. Hi, this is Leslie again and today we're going to look at quadratic sequences and the important thing, the, a quadratic sequence means that you are going to have a term in n squared. So it's going to end up looking like something times n squared plus something times n plus a number. So the sequence we're going to be looking at is the sequence 13, 21, 31, 43. Just as before, I'm going to start by writing down the position so we're going to have a first term, a second term, a third term, a fourth term, and we're going to be looking for an expression for the nth term. Write the value down underneath. So my first term is 13, then 21, then 31, then 43. Just as before, take each term away from the next term so 21 minus 13 is 8, 31 minus 21 is 10, and 43 minus 31 is 12. Now this time you'll notice that the differences are not the same as each other. Don't worry, you would expect this if it's a quadratic sequence. But if we take these differences away from each other, so if we do 10 take away 8, that gives us 2, and 12 take away 10 also gives us 2. So this time we have had to go to the second row of differences before we get a constant number. And that constant number will help us find the coefficient of n squared. Unfortunately, this time it doesn't quite give us the coefficient. In order to find the coefficient of n squared, you have to divide this number by 2. So in this case, the coefficient of n squared will be 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I have got a start. I do know that my sequence will be 1n squared plus something times n plus a number. Now, to find the something times n plus a number, you are really looking for a linear sequence. So the next step I'm going to do is... Go back to the original value of each term and from each value I'm going to take away the value of n squared. And I'm taking away n squared because I know that my sequence is just something n squared. And I'm trying to find what the le what's left after that. So I'm going to do 13 minus 1 squared, which is 12. 21 minus 2 squared, which is 17. 31 minus 3 squared, which is 22, and 43 minus 4 squared, which is 27. I have a new sequence. And I'm now going to work with this sequence in the same way as you do for any linear sequence. Take each term away from the next one. 17 minus 12 is 5. 22 minus 7 is 5. 27 minus 22 is 5. You have the same number all the time, so I now know that the coefficient of n this time is going to be 5. OK, so I now know that my nth term will be n squared plus 5n plus or minus something. To find what the something is, I'm going to take 5 times the position away from the numbers in this sequence. So 12 take away 5 times 1. 12 take away 5 is 7. 17 take away 5 times 2. 17 take away 10 is 7. 22 take away 5 times 3. 22 minus 15 is 7. And 27 minus 5 times 4. 27 minus 20 is also 7. So this time I have 7 left each time which means that I now know my nth term is going to be 1n squared plus 5n plus 7. And you can test it works 
by taking a position. So suppose I just take a round, and let's look at the third position. So I'm using n is 3. If n was 3, I would have 9 plus 15 plus 7, which is indeed 31, which is the third term in my original sequence. So you can check that it works quite easily. OK, so let's have a look at an example, work through from the beginning. So we're going to look at the sequence 2, 8, 16, 26, and try and find the nth term of this quadratic sequence. So as it's a quadratic sequence, we know it's going to be something n squared plus something n plus something. And they're the things we've got to find. So start off as before by writing down the position. So I have my first term, my second term, my third term, my fourth term. I'm going to write down the value of those terms underneath. So the terms are 2, 8, 16, 26. And as usual, we're going to try and find an expression for the nth term, which we know will look like something times n squared plus something times n plus something. As before, start by taking each term away from the next one. 8 take away 2 is 6. 16 take away 8 is 8. 26 take away 16 is 10. Don't be, don't be surprised, you'd expect different numbers at this stage. Take these numbers away from each other. 8 take away 6 is 2. 10 take away 8 is also 2. Now we've got a common difference and this will help us to find the coefficient of n squared. But to find the coefficient of n squared, you have to divide this number by 2. This means that we know that the coefficient of n squared is going to be 1. So we know that our nth term will be something like n squared plus something times n plus something. So effectively, this little bit that we've got to find is a linear sequence. Now we know that n squared is involved, we go back to the original sequence and we take n squared away from each value. So 2 take away 1 squared is 2 take away 1, which is 1. 8 take away 2 squared is 8 take away 4, which is 4. 16 take away 3 squared is 16 take away 9, which is 7. And 26 take away 4 squared is 26 take away 16, which is 10. Do the differences of this sequence. 4 take away 1 is 3. 7 take away 4 is 3. 10 take away 7 is 3. They're all the same. And this now gives us the coefficient of n. So we now know that our nth term is n squared plus 3n plus something. And we've still got the something to find. So this time, using these numbers here, the 1, 4, 7, 10, this time I'm going to take 3n away from each of these numbers. So 1 take away 3 times 1 is 1 take away 3, which is minus 2. 4 take away 3 times 2 is 4 take away 6, which is minus 2. 7 take away 3 times 3 is 7 take away 9, which is minus 2. And 10 take away 3 times 4 is 10 take away 12, which is also minus 2. All the numbers are the same. So this tells me how I have to adjust my sequence to get the one I want. So I now know it's n squared plus 3n take away 2. And as a check, Let's take the fourth position. So I'm going to be using n is 4. And if I put n is 4 into here, I will get 16 plus 12 take away 2, which is 28 take away 2, which is 26. And if you check back to the list, my fourth term was 26. <laughs>